that uh, Mr. Cooper can begin the, um, the roll call while I'm reading the statement. Pursuant to Governor Lee's executive order number 16 regarding electronic meetings as extended by executive orders number 34 and 51, I make a motion that this committee meeting agenda constitutes a central business of the Metro government and that meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety, and welfare of Tennesseans in light of the COVID-19 outbreak. Can I have a motion to that effect, please? Move. Second. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. We are meeting electronically. And now I will um, check the attendance. Alan is here. Hauser is here. Mendez is not here. Parker. We have Council Member Parker. Do not see him. Sepulveda is here. Sledge is here. Suarez is here. Taylor is here. Toombs is here. Council Member Welsh, are you here? Yes, okay. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight members present. Any dispute of that number? Okay, with that, we have two items of business. The first is Resolution RS-2020-443, sponsors Alan Toombs and others. This authorizes grants not exceeding $2 million from the Barnes Fund for Affordable Housing to New Level CDC, a nonprofit organization for the express purpose of constructing and re rehabilitating affordable or workforce housing. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. And moved and seconded. Any discussion? There was a good discussion of this in budget. Um, are there any further questions on that? Councilmember Welsh and Hauser, I see your hands up. Are those to be recognized? Councilmember Welsh? No. Councilmember Hauser? Yes, I, I just needed to let folks, sorry about the dog. I just need to let folks know that I need to abstain because I do work at the level C. Really noted. Okay, so you'll be recorded as abstaining on this vote. Councilmember Van Rees, do you want to speak on this project? Uh, yes, just wanted to chime in that this project is going to take place in District 8 and there's great community involvement, and we welcome it uh, overwhelmingly. Great, thank you for that information. Any other comments on this resolution? This is um, some of the Barnes Fund projects that were awarded uh, last term and, and uh, we had to impound some of the funding and it has now been freed up. So this is great to be able to get this going. Uh, with that, I will now take the votes. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? We'll record that as eight in favor, zero against. Next item is Resolution RS-2020-456 sponsors Gamble, Tombs, Fuente, uh, and others. Uh, this condemns the practice of increasing tenant rents as a result of the recently enacted property tax increase over and above the apportioned amount of taxes for that particular rental unit. Council Member Tombs, do you want to speak on this? Do you want to make a motion? So moved. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Council Member Tombs. So this um, bill, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, we're getting word of, of uh, landlords who are basically price gouging. They are giving, trying to significantly increase their rents uh, under the guise of the property tax increase, but it's entirely disproportionate. And so this uh, particular bill would... Um, I think I don't have it in front of me, so I'm talking off the top of my head, but it would uh, it's an attempt to prevent that from happening. Thank you. Certainly showing support for that not happening. Any um, any further discussion? Councilmember Gamble. Thank you, Chair. And, and Councilmember Toombs did a great job explaining the bill. I just wanted to reiterate that I have received several uh, calls and emails from constituents concerned about uh, rent gouging as a result of the um, tax increase. And I actually received an, an actual letter that a resident received from her uh, landlord stating that because of the uh, tax increase, 34% tax increase, he was raising her rent 
$350 per <laughs> month on a house uh, appraised at $202,000. So her rent shouldn't be raised more than $45,000. So he, I don't know how many times we can take that 10 times he's raising her rent. Uh, and he's, he, he admittedly said because of the tax increase. So just wanted to put uh, uh, landowners on notice that that is unacceptable and 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 we will frown upon that uh, if that, on that activity. Thank you. I appreciate that. Councilmember Van Rees, do you want to speak on this bill or is that left over from the other bill? I apologize. That's okay. Um, any other discussion? Seeing no other hands, we are ready to take the vote. All those in favor of this resolution, please indicate by saying okay. aye. 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 Right. Any opposed? We will record that as eight to zero recommended. Um, I would like to mention to council members that um, at the request of council member Hauser, um, I have asked for Jennifer Tackett and uh, Judy, Judy Tackett and um, representatives from uh, MDHA to talk to us uh, at a specially called affordable housing committee meeting when we will have time to receive more information next Monday at five o'clock. I hope you can participate in that. And they will give us an update on um, the situation of people experiencing homelessness uh, in light of the COVID uh, pandemic and uh, what the city is doing to, uh, to support them uh, through this difficult time. So I hope that you will um, put that time on your calendar. I'll send out an official invitation as well uh, so that y'all can participate in that. Is there any other business that needs to come before this committee before we adjourn? Seeing no hands raised, I will adjourn this meeting and turn it over to Council Member Henderson for Public Works. Thank you for sticking around. He jumped in, but to say, hey everyone, we don't make fun of individuals who are different.